We're still trying to like digest what John Lynch said because Kyle Shanahan in particular has been dancing around naming a quarterback. He said I had two starters. Lynch came out today and said essentially when Brock Pur Purdy's healthy, he's the guy. Um, so I asked for you. You weren't there. I asked for you. I said, okay, John, well, if Purdy's the guy and Lance needs to play, but he doesn't get that opportunity, are you going to trade him? And he goes, ah, we like Lance on the team for now, which was such a weird thing to say. He said it like, no, we're not going to trade him. But when you look at the transcript, he said, we like Lance on the team for now. How do you interpret that? Well, um, like, right, like, let's say you did a live stream, like, later today with Jesse. And yeah. Jesse's like, hey, I see that you have Larry on your uh, your channel. And you said, I have Larry on my channel for now. For now. Ooh, I would that wouldn't like, sound good. Know, I'd Ooh. be like, maybe maybe I'm going to have Monday afternoons free. <laughs> I like Larry on my channel for now. Yeah, he's he's good uh, until I replace I, him. I like I like Larry on my channel for now. If you had said, I like Larry, then it's like, hey, you know what? Then it sounds like we're, you know. Good point. So it's a totally different deal. I just don't yeah. think – I think John Lynch is a smart guy who doesn't say any words by accident. And we like Trey right. on our team right now. Um, sounds like they're getting – I'll stand by what I said at the end of the season. I think it at the end of the year it sounded very much like they were going to trade Trey Lance on draft day. Hmm. And I have seen nothing – from their behavior or their statements that says otherwise. And I'm looking for things. I have an alternate interpretation. Okay. It's possible that the reason he said right now is that they don't have, he doesn't have much trade value, Trey Lance. And trading him would be for maybe a third round pick. I have no idea because he hasn't played in three years. And if that's the case, then is it worth it? You already have three third round picks. Maybe the idea is keep him one more year just in case because Brock coming off a serious injury. And if Brock is everything the Niners think he is, then trade trade next year. Yeah, I mean, and that makes the most cap sense, right? I mean, if you look yeah. at the cap, that makes the most sense. Um, yeah. But they have to like create a little cap space to trade him now. Is that correct? Well, I think, isn't there a cap hit of yeah. some kind of significance? Yeah. If they can because, of the, because of the, because of the, um, Signing bonus would accelerate. That's the term. Yes. Right. So I think they it would, it would be more advantageous not to trade Trey. But I just think that they're in. Then he went on to say, hey, you know, Kyle and I always joke that we'd trade each other uh, if we got a good deal. So I think what they're just going to do is they know, um, at least in my belief, I believe Trey Lance is probably as good as most of the quarterbacks in this draft. Um, and I think there's probably other NFL people that probably feel the same way. And so – those quarterbacks, I think, are going to get off the board in the top 10. And then I think the 49ers are going to open up, uh, you know, the phone lines will be there if anybody wants to trade for Trey Lance. And I think they are willing to trade him between, like, let's say the 10th pick and the 30th pick or 10th pick and the 40th pick um, and maybe a player. Yeah, they won't say no to that. And then They would not they say get, no. Once they get to 40 or so, maybe they'll say, you know what, or once a certain guy's off the board that they would like. But, you know, the thing about it, Grant, they're going and looking at NFL quarterbacks, um, guys like Tanner McKee and Clayton Toon and the kid from Utah State. They're looking at quarterbacks. Is that to be a fourth quarterback or is Darnold going to be the two and this is to be the third quarterback? I mean, they talked about Darnold today like he's a two, right? They talked to uh, – John couldn't – was just so effusive in his love for Sam Darnold. He had a breakthrough performance last year. It was like, wow. Right. They may, yeah. Maybe they feel like – He's a future starter. They've caught lightning in a bottle. They've got him at a great deal. I mean, you got to remember this, too. you got to do something outside of money to attract Sam Darnold. He's been in some bad situations, but he could have gone somewhere else for a better deal if his deal here is to be the right. third quarterback. Right. So maybe he's not the third quarterback. Maybe he's more like the second quarterback, and they're going to trade Trey on draft day for picks. Who knows? Or uh, what, I just want to say – I. I'm skeptical that, that a team would offer the 49ers a first-round pick this year for Lance. I'm with you that if they get that offer, from what, from how John Lynch was talking today, I think they'd accept it. I just don't think they'll get it. So that's why I, if I had to bet, I think they're going to hold him one more year, essentially waste another year of his youth, and then you know if they need him, play him. They might need him. But otherwise, if Brock bounces back, plays well, keeps the job, I think they'll trade him next year. But I do. It does seem like 
this is this might be his last year if he's even on the team. All, well, with the team. He, here's the one thing that we don't know: how wed are they to Brock Purdy? And it's if they're if let's just say Kyle Shanahan thinks you know privately, man, Brock Purdy's the absolute perfect quarterback for my offense. Then it's just a matter of how does he come out of this surgery and what are you going to do with Trey? Well, know? what did Purdy? What, what did Lynch say at the end? I mean, we, we said you know we really think this is a guy. Like, how do you interpret a guy? Like, you know, not just – to me, I, I look at that as, like, a franchise guy. We think he's a guy, like a special guy. He, said that, about, he said that about, about – uh, Purdy. About, about Purdy. Purdy at the end. Because yeah. hey, the, the last question was from Matt Mayoko, and he said, please, if I – he said, if you don't mind, like, it, it's only been eight games. Like, wh wh why do you – you know, some, we've seen a lot of young quarterbacks sort of get figured out by the league and come back to, down to earth. Why are you so sure with Brock? And and like Lynch didn't flinch. He was like, "Oh, it's just the way he played. I mean, it's 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 not just that he can do this, run the system, but he can do so much outside of structure. And he's so much a better athlete than we thought. And we really think he's a guy, like meaning like someone worth investing time and money into. I'm thinking. So that's what they think of Brock. They could be wrong. I feel like I think they thought this about Jimmy Garoppolo at one point. But that's what they think of Brock right now. Which means if he's the guy and Darnold's a high level two then yeah, Lance is the odd man out. And now it's in like operation um, rehabilitate his trade value if possible. And I, I couldn't imagine it could get any worse than it, lower than it is now. All they have to do is give him some good practice reports, have me and you talk him up and have a good preseason, and all of a sudden his value goes up. Well, I mean, where would you put Trey Lance in this draft as far as quarterbacks? Yeah. Well, let's be would brutally honest here. I mean, I mean he hasn't played I, in three I, years. Personally, you couldn't put him in the top four. To me, I, I I'm not convinced I on any of these guys. He'd I be really five. Know. He'd be five. You'd put him right ahead of Hendon Hooker, who's 25 years old. But you couldn't put a, put him ahead of any of these young top four quarter, even Will Levis, because they played football last year and the year before that, and they didn't break their ankle. That's true, but also um, they all have their weaknesses. They it's all true. have their downsides. I mean, Stroud so does Trey. Great. Yeah, Trey has his weaknesses. I, I like Trey better as a prospect than all of these guys, except for Richardson and maybe Stroud. Uh, Bryce Young's tiny. Will Levis, I watched Kentucky. He was not good. Um, Hendon Hooker had phenomenal receivers, and he's older, and he's now coming off a major injury. Um, you know, And then the other thing is the – I just feel like real, real quick, if you plop Trey Lance, somehow if he got to be in this draft, I, think, I, think I don't he's think he's getting picked ahead of those four. No, I don't. I think, but I think, I think for sure he's going in the twenties. I think, I, I, I think if you're a team like if I'm Tennessee, it's a tough one. I'm, I don't I'm know. Tennessee and I'm Rand Carthon. I think what I'm doing is I'm trading back, getting more draft capital into the teens, and then trading that pick for Trey. It, it could happen. He's such an enigma because he really has one year of playing experience at North Dakota State, and it was 2019. I mean, how do you evaluate him in 2023? And I think where the Niners are coming from is like, I don't even want to try anymore. It's like, look, Brock Purdy's given them most of what they hoped Trey Lance would give them. So who, why even bother with the Trey Lance project? Yeah, Trey Lance could end up being better than Brock, but Brock's given them like 85% of what they were hoping to get with Trey. So why don't they just count their blessings and move on? I think that's what they're thinking. I think you're right. And then, then don't forget what John's last comments were at the combine Trey's just got to play and that's the challenge because we're we got a team that's ready to win right now and the uh -huh. implication was obvious the right. implication was Trey's not ready to play right now we're ready to win right now our timeline doesn't mesh with his tr we're trading Trey but everybody denied that at the time then now follow that up with what he said today in Arizona. You're there. You saw the look on his face, so you could probably speak to it better than I could. But to me, it sounds very much like we're trading Trey. We don't want to get ripped off. We're not going to take anything right. in a trade. But right. absolutely, right. after the 10th pick and before the 40th pick, if you come and call for us. For sure. He's open, he's, yeah, he's open for pick, business. We're, and know, if we don't get that, we, we could do this one more year and maybe right. trade up next year. Because maybe maybe next year's draft is stronger. Who knows? So, right. yeah, I'm with you on that. This was this was not an encouraging day. If you were a Trey Lance fan and you were hoping that the Niners secretly believed in him and are going to put him right back in the starting spot, didn't sound that way today. Now, John 
isn't necessarily the final word in this organization. Kyle is. So we'll see what he says tomorrow. We'll see if he strikes a different tone or has a totally different message. I'm guessing he won't, but we'll see. He sometimes likes to surprise people. Sourdough Sam says, if I was Trey, I'd want a, a trade, but he has no leverage. I'm sure he'd love one. I'm sure he'd love one, but, you know, what are you going to do? Yo, Adrian, says G. <laughs> Martinez. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> That's Philly. I'm in Arizona. Um, Shreddy Murphy says it's all good until Brock and Darnold get hurt. Yeah. And we don't know. I mean, John yeah. Lynch was standing right there five feet away from Tanner McKee. For all we know, he loves Tanner McKee, and he wants McKee to be. I'll say this. I mean, let, let's let's lay this out there for what it is. If you trade Trey Lance and draft a Tanner McKee, let's just say, Jake Hayner, fill in the blank, third quarterback, you have a much cleaner quarterback room in that you have a clear number one, a clear number two, and a clear number three. And no controversy, no division, no media circus, no 49er content creator circus, no debate, no back and forth, no distractions. That's it. But you did get worse. I mean, you just said that Trey Lance would be maybe third in this draft class. So, I mean, you're going to get worse if you do that. Right. At quarterback. But at quarterback, trading at quarterback, Trey, yeah. you're yeah. getting better somewhere else by whatever yeah. you get in return. I wouldn't yeah. do it. I, Grant, I, there's no way I would do it for like a third and a fifth round pick. I wouldn't either. If you yeah. really believe that's his value, then he's going nowhere. But right. if you believe his value is higher, and I believe his value is higher, I think there's many palatable deals that can make them better and would give them a far less um, distraction quarterback room. And maybe if Brock's going to be the guy anyway – and they're all in on that, then why would you want Trey there and all this distraction and all this debate when you could improve your football team at two spots maybe and bring in somebody else you like? I'm just saying. I feel I feel like Lance is like an NFT. People are saying, man, this guy's worth so much. And it's like, are you sure? Are you sure right. it's not worth nothing? Right. Because again, with Lance, it was always a projection. It was very little evidence. You know, he didn't do much to become the third pick in the draft. No offense. But he probably did the least of any quarterback ever to become the third pick in the draft. And now he still has done nothing. So I'm saying he's the NFT. I like Trey Lance, but still, like, what is his value? I, it depends on the eye of the beholder. I guess it just takes one team to think that he's still worth here's primo. The, here's the, uh, the rub, Grant. And to me, this is where the rubber meets the road. They've seen him more than we have in practice. They know that if he plays, his value either goes up or it goes down. If they believe that he's going to be great, they'll hold him and let his value yeah. go up. But if they feel that he's not ready to play and that if he played this year, his value is going down, then they probably do trade him this year on draft day. Makes sense. They, they're they also not – I'm with you. But they're also not so good at evaluating quarterbacks in practice. Otherwise, Brock Purdy would have started week one or week three. Or, but fair, I'm with – I'm just saying that they should be careful on evaluating Trey Lance in practice. What One thing, again – they might be careful of jettisoning him from the organization before seeing what he looks like with Christian McCaffrey. Because once Christian McCaffrey came on this team, all of a sudden Jimmy Garoppolo looked like a Pro Bowl quarterback. Brock Purdy looked like a Hall of Fame quarterback. I don't know. Maybe he'll make Trey Lance look functional. And maybe then his, his trade value goes up. Because I, I argue that his trade value couldn't be lower. And I don't know what it is, but it's at an all-time low right now, whatever it is. Gregory Young says, Kyle strikes again. Feel bad for Trey. Should trade him and stop the dilemma if they are really sold on Brock. Let him have a chance elsewhere. Yeah, I mean, you want to do what's right for him, but you got to do what's right for the organization. And selling low I, may not be it. 